Kole pea e fuaki ki a te ki mau tolu, kumi pea te mau ilo, tuki tuki pea e to'o ki a te ki mau tolu, ma te ufitu, ves fitu mo valu. Talo falava everyone and welcome to another vlog. If you don't already know, my name's Veni, this is Veni Vlogs. Um, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your continuous support. If you guys are um, continuously following my vlogs, special mentions to um, all those who have been waiting for um, an updated vlog from myself. Long story short, explaining why I haven't been uploading. Um, pretty much been busy with a lot of things at home. A lot has happened in the past few weeks um, hence why I haven't managed to upload anything I did do some traveling um, to Melbourne and to Auckland as well leading up to this polytube funnel um, that happened recently so a special shout out to the polytube funnel committee um, to Hello Harriet and to Zeras fam, it's Mia's world and hey it's Tara's vlog. Thank you for um, the invitation and organizing an awesome event. I know you guys had an awesome time this weekend. Um, so a special shout out to all the polytubers who managed to make their way to Auckland this weekend. Unfortunately I couldn't make it um, as family and finances. I know that you guys had an awesome time um, but yeah life goes on and we'll see you guys in the next one I guess in this vlog I'm going to make for you guys <coughs> bisua so bisua is a Samoan dessert pretty much consisted of um, tapioca melted sugar coconut cream and just a little bit of lemon and water just to help flavor it and it's similar to the Filipino um, dessert I normally see. I don't know, halo halo or something. So I mean, so I'll put a picture here of it. Pretty much a lot of Southeastern, Southeast Asian desserts um, consist of tapioca. And so you notice that um, in our Pacific Islands, we normally use tapioca as well. For those who love Bisua, yep, this is a simple way of making it. Um, it was fun making it as well as I don't normally make this well myself. Enjoyed, thoroughly enjoyed making it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this recipe vlog. I'm going to be making other recipes such as Kalima Moe. Um, hopefully you can get a steam underway so we can start making our Kike Povis and our Pulingi. There's been a lot of questions um, raised in terms of um, the music that I use as well as the um, recipe the ingredients that I use in my vlogs because there's so many um, comments in my vlogs I tend to lose track of each and every one of them so I will try and um, go ahead and answer those questions yeah special shout out to everyone who is who has been waiting for a vlog from myself and um, again apologies to all our polytube family who are anticipating me coming to um, polyfunnel don't worry i will definitely come to the next one and i will plan properly for the next one all right so thanks for your support guys and i hope you guys enjoy this piece of vlog bye <music> So these are all the ingredients you need in order to make a bisua, all brought to you by Coles and the local fruit shop. You need one liter of Cara coconut cream, 600 grams of tapioca pearls, one lemon rind, four cups of sugar, raw sugar preferably, and one cup of water to use in between the cooking process. So let's begin. Firstly, you're going to soak your tapioca balls overnight in an oven tray and make sure that it's um, filled with water way up to the top. And then once you've soaked those, you're going to bake it 
um, in an oven um, covered in foil for about 90 minutes or until the tapioca balls have been cooked right through and it becomes transparent. So we're going to put that in the oven now at 160 degrees and we're going to bake this like I said before for 90 minutes or until the tapioca pearls have become transparent. Be good to use the oven alarm as well. Next we're going to cook our coconut sugar. We're going to firstly <coughs> melt the sugar in a pot. So pour your four cups of sugar into a pot and use a wooden spoon in order to mix this around. At first it may seem like it's going to take forever for it to melt but once it does it melts quite fast so be sure to keep an eye on the oven. <coughs> so keep on stirring your melted sugar mix and at this point it's still not ready. Once it starts to bubble up then you know it's ready and then once it does that like so take it over to the other element to cool down and then add some water and finally mix in the coconut cream into your melted sugar mix and this will form the caramel for the bisua next you're going to let that cool down and then add in your lemon rind just for flavor um, don't leave it in there for too long it's just to um, flavor the bisua and then take it out again after the 90 minutes is over you're going to take out your tapioca pearls and you can see it turns out like this nice and sticky once it becomes transparent you're going to let that cool down as well for about 30 minutes or so or until it is <clears throat> nice and solid i left this overnight as well the next day i then scooped up the tapioca um, you don't need to cut it up, you can just scoop it up if you'd like, but if you prefer it to be cut up, that's fine too. Using a spatula, once you've scooped all the tapioca into the bowl, we are then going to pour our coconut syrup into the mix. That is so good. And then we're going to really mix through the coconut syrup as well as the tapioca. Make sure you do this thoroughly and break it up with the wooden spoon in order for it to be blended well. Then you're going to put this in the fridge to set for about an hour and you're good to go. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Ah, so far. <laughs> mm. All right guys, so Here's the end result of the bisua that I made earlier. So good, eh? So just a tip for everyone who does bisua. Um, when you finish making, I guess when you finish mixing the tapioca along with the um, coconut sugar mix, um, it's best to just let it sit in the fridge for a while because at first it comes out as a bright orangey color. That's because the sugar and the coconut hasn't really set in with the tapioca so tapioca tapioca you can see here it's mixed right through and it's set well so this is pretty much what bisua looks like i don't know if you guys can see it so that's the consistency you want in your bisua here we go i'm gonna try it now Very nice. So the lemon rind that you see um, in the vlog, that was again just to um, add a citrusy flavor to it because sometimes I get bored of the sugar coconut. But yeah, this is pretty much an easy fundraiser to do as well. If you guys have any fundraisers, it's a simple way of making bisua. Small tub for like five dollars, ten dollars, and it's really cheap ingredients as well. So, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Cover photo thumbnail. The first shout out goes to Life of KDB. 
um, again I was watching Polyphono updates and the footage and she was one of the first vloggers um, that pretty much uploaded any footage so it was awesome seeing her updates throughout the vlog um, shout out to you shout out to Jay Moore as well for getting the um, answer correct so I posted on my um, Instagram recently and I can guess um, what dish I'm making and it starts with a P and Jay Moore um, automatically said Bizua and she got it right um, and another thing to celebrate we're reaching 3,700 subscribers honestly can't thank you guys enough um, pretty much this is our channel so shout out to all the subscribers all the youtubers um, that are consistently and continuously following this channel and subscribing and commenting and liking shout out to you guys thanks for your support quite thankful to make it back on youtube again and to start vlogging and cooking because this is what i love doing but yeah looking forward to making um, a whole lot of new pacific island dishes and because it's tongan language week this week or last week um, happy tongan language week to all our um, tongan family out there i've, I've uploaded some footage of me and grandma just doing random um, uh, Lea Whakatonga, you know, conversations. But um, yeah, shout out to all our Tongan family, Ofato, um, Kinao Tolu, um, and all those who are listening. Um, thanks for your support. And a big, big shout out to my brother, Ben. Um, Ben's honestly behind the scenes helping me film this stuff so big shout out to my brother Ben as well as my sister Life of Lofa if you don't know please follow her channel um, she's recently uploaded some footage of our events and our churches down in Wellington shout out to Alan Tuff, Katrina and Aisha Life of Neves you guys have been awesome in representing Brisbane Polytube so a special shout out to um, our sisters, <clears throat> please follow their channel as well, um, they represented Brisbane and so um, at our Polyfauna recently, if you haven't already heard of Polytube, please look it up, hashtag Polytube, pretty much all our Pacific Island um, YouTubers or vloggers on YouTube um, who use social media as a platform to showcase their talent. Um, and to represent our Pacific Island community here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to also start putting up um, Bible verses on these vlogs, alright? So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, we shall see you guys in the next vlog. Have an awesome week and um, blessings to you all. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Nga konga. Ina ko kiri lo pa to nga. Sai pe ma lo. Yeah. Iya, sai pe. Ela ofsi dia kya oi a? Ya, fe fe hake. Isi pe. Ai. Fe hake. Sai pe. Sai pe ma lo. Sai pe ma lo. Iya. Um, isi pa kong. Me akai. Me akai. Me akai koen. Me akai koen. <laughs> <laughs> koen akai. Koen ha akai. <laughs> That's the uluia. That's the sakafai. And the saimingi. Ready for grandpa when he gets back from dialysis. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Saipi. Saipi. Saipi malo. <laughs> what is up everyone? Very happy Sabbath to you all. Oh, just straighten my tie. So we're just heading out to church now. Ah, shout out to all our polytubers and polyphonal. Um, right now, miss you guys. Wish I was there. Hello, Ako. Ako's by you. Oh, you got it. 
little old lady, you know. Alright. Yeah. I love it. Here's your jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm <laughs> Just quickly checking to see if all the appliances are off. That's what you do when you <clears throat> leave the house. It's our slow cooker I was talking to you guys about. Just the okay. answers off. So good to be back on the vlog.